It's good to be young in a place like Ashdown Forest. Parties from the London Federation of Boys Clubs take turns to build log cabins, even their own radio station. The mysteries of shortwave radio transmission are taught to the young enthusiasts, just as their instructors picked it up 25 years ago, when Britain's life depended on them. All's right with the youth of today when they're given the right chance. And what a place this is to get the best out of the average boy. Some of their fathers did the same kind of thing, but that was in the army, on infantry training assault courses. The venture was inspired and made possible by members of the Variety Club of Great Britain. These young chaps are a long way from being 25, and to them, the Battle of Britain is history. But the spirit and inspiration is there. For the winners, trophies and medals. Medals galore rewarded the youth of 1940. Though more mature than these youngsters, many were little more than schoolboys when they flew the fighter planes on show here for the 25th anniversary of the decisive air battle. At Biggin Hill, frontline fighter command station, when only the few stood in the way of German air victory, thousands of people this year renew their homage to the splendid youth of those epic days. The Nazi war planes, so formidable in those days, had to confess themselves beaten by the young knights of the air. From airfields, deserted now, flew the Spitfires and Hurricanes. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. In the village churchyard of Bladen, Winston Churchill lies at rest. The unique man who held in unbounded admiration the young pilots whose deeds ensured their immortality. How rarely is advanced age generous enough to reverence youth? In memory of Winston's inspiration, a Spitfire and Hurricane dipped their wings in salute over his grave. In Westminster Abbey was held the service of thanksgiving on the 25th anniversary of victory in the Battle of Britain. For members of the Churchill family, this possibly was their finest hour. The nation was paying yet another tribute to him who had been its greatest son. An honored place was there, of course, for a few of the remaining few. Middle-aged now are 1940s valiant fighters, Your Majesty to unveil this stone that Winston Churchill may be always remembered here. In honored memory of Winston Churchill, I unveil this memorial. I ask you, Mr. Dean, to dedicate it and to take it into the safe custody of the Dean and Chapter of Westminster. Hallowed in the Abbey are the nation's memories of its greatest heroes. How right it is that Winston Churchill's is added to them.
Air Vice Marshal Rosier, 229 Squadron. Air Commodore McDonnell, DFC, 64 Squadron. Group Captain Davies, DFC and Bar, AFC, 87, 213 and 152 Squadrons. Commander Brahma, RN. He was seconded to Fighter Command, 213 Squadron. Wing Commander Stanford Tuck, DSO, DFC, two bars. Served in 92 Squadron and commanded 257 Squadron. The Battle of Britain window will keep fresh for all time the memory of the young lions who did not return. Do not despair for Johnny Head in Air. He sleeps as sound as Johnny Underground. Fetch out no shroud for Johnny in the cloud and keep your tears for him in after years. Better by far for Johnny the bright star to keep your head and see his children fed. Heroes pass, and the young men of today learn to pilot supersonic fighters. Only youth can meet the challenge of modern scientific wonders. Youth does not endure, but while it lasts, its fires burn strong. Its light shines over all the world. The brave of that unforgettable yesterday inspire the heroes of today. Thank you.